Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you my SCSS folder structure, files inside and how I use them and what I have there. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start creating our folder structure. Here I just have an empty folder and uh, I just added this prettier config file as I'm using prettier as a text formatter here for the code. Uh, so this is just basic uh, file with some configs inside. So I'll put it uh, also with this folder on GitHub. Now, uh, what we have to do here, as this is uh, for demonstration purposes, uh, imagine that uh, this is some kind of our component, but I'll create uh, some index to test the CSS and SCSS here. But you'll use it uh, probably in your files and components of Angular, React, or Vue, or any other framework or anything you use. Even you can use them just with a uh, plain empty, plain uh, HTML. There. Okay. Uh, here's HTML file. I'll just generate a doc here and hit tab, and it will automatically add uh, these things, these things here. So I'll call. Okay, and I'll add uh, some, uh, let's say some box, so some box. So this is div with some box and the paragraph with the test. Okay, we'll have this for first thing. And now, uh, as I'm using here, as you can see, it's watching. Uh, I'm using a, a SCSS uh, uh, live compiler. Uh, you can find it here, and extensions. Just live compiler and uh, this is this one here okay and also uh, I use uh, some uh, a live server this one here live server and I can uh, launch these uh, files on a local server here so if you click you can see it's a local host and Here's our HTML index file here. So it's automatically reloading uh, on every save you do. And now I'm going back and I'll create, a, let's say a folder styles or CSS or anything. I'll call it styles for now. Styles and I'll put inside the styles uh, a file dot SCSS. Now, when I run this uh, watch SCS, uh, watch SAS, it will automatically generate a styles.css here that we are going to include here. So I'll say link CSS and get here styles and it is in a folder styles styles styles.css. Okay, I'll just test it here and I'll say okay our some box class styles sandbox class color red okay and we have color red text here so it works and this one generated this and added this color here as well from the, uh, from the scss now uh, i'm going to add uh, some partials here folder and there there i will store my uh, scss files and the things I'm going to show you today. So the first one is going to be underscore colors SCSS. I add underscore here because a live compiler uh, will not generate uh, .css file of these colors SCSS. So when you add a, a underscore, it just knows that uh, this is some kind of uh, some kind of uh, partial and it will not uh, generate it here. So uh, in this file, I'm going to add some colors here uh, as uh, this file is just for colors as the name says. So I use it uh, regularly for uh, adding some colors to my project and whenever I want have to save or to change any kind uh, of colors here, uh, I'll just go to the, this file and uh, change the color of something. For example, we can say that we want, uh, uh, let's say, text primary color to be, let's see, orange, orange. 
So you can add any of these to this variable. You can go like this, or you can just change it to be dark orange or anything. So this is some kind of orange. And this is our text primary color. Uh, now we can add other colors or anything you need. For example, we can say that we want to have a text danger color. For example, red. I'll just change it here. It can be darker a bit. And let me just add. Okay, so you get a point. You can add all colors here and whenever you want to change any of these you just go to this file and have it here also it is uh, creating some kind of unique uh, unique uh, variables here so you'll always have this color across your application if you says that that this is your text danger color or text primary color or background of something or anything else so this is just for uh, uh, for colors now I'm going to call this uh, to import actually uh, these colors here so you have to import them to use them. Also import. Okay, partials and colors. You'll notice that uh, I don't have uh, underscore and extension .scss as this is also a CSS file. It uh, it knows that this is uh, CSS as you can import only CSS here. Okay, here and now I'm going to change this uh, color, and I will just say text primary color instead of uh, instead of that uh, red color okay here is going to be text primary color and i'll save it will automatically reload and we have this color even this is just uh, some kind of dark orange we can change it to some kind of uh, brighter orange to be able to see the difference okay i save and here it is still but let's uh, change it to be Let's say blue. Okay, and now we have blue color here. So you get a point. I'm just going to say it changed my colors here and not in my primary styles or of, of, of any components here. So this is a text primary color. Now addition, uh, another one I have here is going to be underscore fonts. Okay, you get a point. I just uh, create uh, uh, this SCSS file to store uh, everything related to my font. So it can be a font uh, font family, primary font family, or let's say font family. And you can add anything. I'll just get these suggestions. Okay, and format it. Now I have a font family and what can we do? We can say uh, paragraph text font size. Okay. Font size. So this is going to be our default paragraph font size. Let's, let's say 24 pixels to see the difference. Okay. And now here, what I have to do is uh, just to say font size. but I have to import here to be able to use it. So font sizes, uh, fonts, okay, fonts. Now we see that uh, it generated font size and everything to this uh, uh, .css file. And when we open, we see 24 pixels uh, blue text here. So this is uh, another one. Uh, what can we also add here is, for example, font weights. And we can see uh, font, font weight uh, regular, and it will be 400. And we can add another ones here, so it is just uh, to have them here. Okay. So this is this is the case with the fonts. You can add any other things you want to have here. Another one I have here is uh, called variables. New file. I'll add underscore variables.scss so this is uh, th this file uh, has uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, variables uh, that I want to reuse across the application for example uh, let's say card border radius and let's say 8 pixels 
okay? And now I define that uh, card border radius that I'm going to use uh, in all my on all my cards or anywhere. Or we can say that we want to have a default border radius. Default border radius that we'll use uh, on all our components. So when we switch this, uh, we'll get uh, different border radius. Uh, so for if we if sometimes we just want to remove the border radius from uh, all all the boxes or everywhere, we can just uh, put a zero here and it will disappear. Or if we want to change it, we'll just change this and will uh, go. It will apply across all application. Okay, save this, and um, uh, now. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to create something else here. For example, in the styles, I'll create uh, so, uh, in this box. I will add a width of 300 pixels and height pixels. And now uh, uh, I'll add a border radius. And now I can go this uh, variables here and include this uh, default default border radius. Okay, hit save, and I'll get it here generated. As you can see, it's default border radius eight pixels. Okay, now we have no uh, any uh, background here to see it, but I can add. Uh, here, okay. I'll just close this and I'll add uh, variables, course styles. Okay, here I'll say okay background, background. Uh, let's say that we have in our colors. Uh, let's say you can call it whatever you want. I'll add a uh, hmm. let's say purple. To see the difference okay and now here i'll just copy this variable okay and now here i just paste it and see okay now we see the border radius here and we see the purple uh purple box here and now uh, i'm going to change that uh, border radius here to 10 pixels and now we see the difference. And as I said, if I want just to remove this border radius, I'll hit uh, delete and just stay with the zero pixels. And uh, every element that uses this uh, default border radi radius will get uh, zero pixels border radius. So I'll put 10 pixels for now, just for the testing purposes. Okay. And so this is uh, variables. And now uh, I'll add uh, mixins here, partial. Okay, underscore, sorry, underscore makes sense, that's SCSS. Okay, and now here, uh, what can we do is, uh, I, you can create all kinds of mixins. Let's say that, that you want to have this box mixing, and whenever you call this box, uh, you apply this mixing to it and have a styling or anything. Uh, I'll just uh, use some easy mixing just to demonstrate the thing. Okay, what I don't like here in my component is that I, when I want to uh, say width and height, I go and I write the width and height. So maybe we could uh, we could add this as a mixin and use just one single line uh, here. So I'll add the uh, add this here. Okay, mixin and call it with with height. And it will just get parameters with height. Okay, and I'll say width would, would, would be width and height would be height. Okay, this is a really easy one, but uh, I just want to show you the possibilities and, and the things what we have here. So I'll say okay and uh, use this mixins. Okay, and now instead of uh, the size that I just removed here, see that there is no uh, width and height. Now I'll add and say include. 
this is how we call our mixins and call it with with height and I can now say okay uh, it is let's say 300 pixels uh, by 200 pixels to see that it applied okay we can see it now uh, if I want to change it I can just add 300 by 300 and I get it okay you get the point of these mixes so you can add whatever you want there and you'll get it uh, back uh, so in the next uh, in next file I have uh, in my partials usually uh, you'll find it real useful and you'll see this uh, uh, mixes in action uh, so uh, I'll add uh, media queries okay you get it uh, this media queries here is uh, made for uh, getting uh, all resolutions of uh, uh, all screens actually or some uh, that you define but you can use this uh, media query to uh, to get uh, for specific resolution something for specific resolutions instead of uh, writing every time at media only screen and you know the, the query you can just uh, call it in you know, let's say one line and use it as a function function and get uh, everything uh, uh, there uh, properly shown or screens you want to use so uh, what can we do we can see uh, some variables over here mobile res mean with and we can say that it is 320 also we can add let's say tablet we can add here let's say 768 and we can use uh, desktop And this breakpoint could go from 1024. So let's say that we want to have uh, these three. You can uh, also have more of these, but uh, this is just for testing purposes. And you'll see this uh, mixin I use here. Let's say uh, at mixin. And uh, we can say that uh, we want this for screen sizes with a min of something. We'll see mean and now I'll say breakpoint breakpoint but uh, maybe to say uh, device device type is maybe better okay and now I'll use a if statement from SCSS and say okay uh, device equals equals uh, let's say phone we, you don't have to add any uh, quotes here just leave it as that phone and now uh, we'll say if device type is phone we'll show the following thing we'll say at media only screen screen and as we use this for mean width we'll say mean width of our mobile res mean width okay and we will apply here something and something uh, is going to be our content actually and now I'll add uh, for these two as well I'll just copy it three times and we'll say it is a tablet and it could be desktop okay and also change it okay tablet and I'll add desktop here okay uh, we see here uh, three different uh, types of devices and they are mean with resolutions or bay points to do something here so this is our mixing for this uh, we could also add uh, for uh, screen sizes max or screen size or device type or anything you can call it everything and uh, you, you get a point here so it could be uh, max width or you can do mean width and max width so to be to, to have exact screen size without any other screen sizes so i'll just use this one for now and hit save and go to our styles css and we can import here our uh, media queries 
Okay. This could be uh, a long list here, but it has hasn't to be. Uh, you can mix these things there, but uh, this is a demonstrating purpose, and uh, we are including everything here to, to show how these uh, these things uh, actually work. So now, as we are including that mixer from uh, media queries, I'll say add include and say for screen sizes min, and I'll say mo uh, mobile. Is it mobile or phone? Uh, is it phone? Okay, phone. And I'll say for screen sizes that are uh, phone, I'll say background is going to be orange. Background color is going to be orange. And for screen sizes that are at minimum uh, tablet, it is going to be a red. And for desktop sizes and above, is going to be green and hit the save we get these breakpoints here we can check it here is it applied and it is you can see and now we are going to switch here to our browser so we can see that it is uh, green that means that is uh, uh, desktop size desktop scene size in width but we can uh, enter responsive mode here and ch change devices we can see for iPhone it is uh, orange and for uh, iPad mini is red and for some kind of desktops or we can just move it around uh, we can see green color here as exactly that we defined here it's orange red and green I haven't added these colors from colors just because I'm just showing the uh, testing uh, testing these things for you just to explain how these things work but you'll add it uh, from colors and uh, what I suggest usually is to not hard code, let's say hard code colors here like this I did here. Uh, it's better to put them uh, in your uh, in your colors here and say, uh, let's see, here you can just call the colors orange background, let's say orange, you can say red. And let's say green. And now we can change it a bit from the default ones. We can see this orange is going to be a bit darker. Okay, and this red is going to be a bit brighter here. And uh, we can see that this green is also going to be a bit brighter. Okay, and save it and just go to, this, uh, to your uh, styles and say okay it is going to be orange background it's going to be a red background and it is going to be a green background Oops. green background hit save Oops. I have Okay, hit background. We see right now when I change the sizes of screen, we see these. Okay, so that's it basically for today for these partials and styling these uh, CSS folders and everything here. I hope that you find this uh, video useful and you get some interesting things and learn something new from here. Also, if you have any kind of suggestions or anything, you can put it in the comment section below. But uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching the video and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.